Hey, Covenant members, thank you for tuning in to this ministry update. We are so grateful for all of the leaders in our church that have been leading us in this season, but I'm so thankful for the staff team and I'm excited for them to each share about the ministry areas that they lead. They have been awesome leaders leading us through all this transition and change. And so please enjoy hearing from them about what God's been doing through each of these areas. Hi, my name is Ashish and I'm the worship and teaching pastor here at Mill City Church. This update is focused on the worship ministry. Now the worship ministry focuses on everything happening on stage and behind the scenes to create spaces where people can encounter God's presence. One stat is that there were hundreds of hours that people worked behind the scenes to help us step into 13th and Madison and worship here. Now attention is continuing to represent the stories of our ever growing and diversifying community. We hope that when people walk into the space that they encounter a culture of I see you, I stand with you, and we need you. Now a huge celebration is that there are over 70 people on the worship team. You'll see them playing the Hammond, running a video camera, or leading through running the images or lyrics on the screen. One of the things I love about our team is the stories that they represent and the ways that they bring their all to create spaces of worship here on Sundays and throughout the week. If you're interested in joining the worship team, there is a spot for you. Reach out, we would love to get you connected. Hello, my name is Adobe Induka. I'm the Community Impact Pastor here, and my focus is working with and building relationship with our community partners. So our stat is we have had countless hours of team members serving in many ways to support our community partners. This physical year, we will have invested over $50,000 to serve our partners, support those in need, and invest in community, our community impact projects like the MB Affordable Housing Project. Attention is we are thinking of building a community impact team where we can pray for our community, um, help recruit team members if and when necessary, and also to help, to continue to help and support not only our current partners, but potential future partners. And the celebration is you know, we have created a calendar where we can, we have listed out all our partners and now able to track how we are impacting our community as a church community. I'm gonna give the Global Impact and Church Planting update. For Global Impact, here's a stat. $22,000 were given to support Global Impact partners in this last year. One tension is just that this is a brand new ministry team and they're looking for more people to join in. And we're really excited for Pastor Paul to continue to lead us forward as, after he comes back from his sabbatical. A celebration is that there's 12 Global Impact partners and counting because of the two churches coming together. And we're looking forward to increase our giving to the Global Impact partners in this next, next fiscal year. For church planting, over $40,000 was given to Espiritu Santo, our most recent church plant. Converge matched that, Converge North Central, by $20,000, which means that the gift was actually a total of $60,000 for Espiritu Santo as they are launching. And we were also able to give them equipment that they need for worshiping in the school, Las Estrellas. Over the summer, they had to move out of Las Estrellas to another school because work was being done, but now they're back at Las Estrellas this fall, and we're excited for them. North City, the first church that we helped launch, has now been an independent church for a little while, and they're doing great. We support them now primarily by sharing space. They have some space that they use at the Commons, and their team is officing here at 685 in the co-working space. They also have a new service time. They are now meeting at brunch instead of dinner time. So it's Brunch Church now. Check it out. They would love to have you join and visit. Hi, I'm Amy Corrier, the Community Life and Discipleship Director. I focus on helping people get connected to Mill City through various avenues, such as joining a team, getting a group, and engaging in equipping opportunities. Over the past year, we've had around 140 people fill out the online or physical connection card indicating that they are new to Mill City and want to get more information or help get connected more with our community. One of the tensions that we have been given as part of feedback over the last year is that it can be challenging for people that are newer to Mill City to break into already existing groups. So one of the ways that we are hoping to address this tension is through new to Mill City groups, which are designed as intentional spaces for those that are newer to Mill City to get to know other people that are newer to Mill City and people that have been around Mill City longer to help them take the next steps in getting more involved. Hey everyone, we are here to represent the teaching team. Now the teaching team focuses on training and equipping our community through the Sunday morning sermons. Some of the stats for the teaching team, we had six sermon series. 
starting with New Beginnings as our community adopted Elam and went through great series like What God is Like, Love Your Neighbor, and Seeking Out Belonging. You can find these past sermons at millcitychurch.com slash hub. Now, One Tension is continuing to contextualize and discuss what it means to be a disciple of Jesus in an ever-changing world and in our growing community. The purpose behind everything we do is to equip missional disciples to follow Jesus in their everyday spaces. Couple celebrations. We were honored to hear from 11 different teachers, which is just such a gift to our community. Those teachers represented four different generations and five different ethnic backgrounds. So cool. We also have a second celebration, which is this last year, the leadership team has convened a group of community members, covenant members, who are giving feedback on our sermons at a monthly uh, time frame. So that's been really exciting and really great because those community members represent our wider community and it's, I think, helped us to be better teachers. Hi everybody, I'm Sharon Rundell, the Family Life Pastor here at Mill City Church. Family Life focuses on everything that applies to spiritual formation for our kids from birth through high school. Currently, we have 82 people on the Sunday Morning Family Life team. Down on our kids' floor, you will find these team members helping with check-in, teaching the Bible, crafting, rolling balls, and rocking babies. New families come to visit, love their experience, and they stay. We have actually seen a 170% increase in kids' attendance since the spring of 2022. With all of that growth, we want to keep our kids' space an adult-rich environment. Real spiritual formation happens in relationship, and that takes a big team. Our attention is keeping up with the growth by expanding our number of leaders. Hi, I'm Rose Nellison. I'm the Director of Student Ministries here at Mill City Church. I get to hang out with and disciple Mill City Church students between 6th and 12th grade. We do this through Divas and Donuts on Sunday morning, Wednesday night youth group, and one-on-one -on -one discipleship. In July, I was brought on staff as Mill City Church's first full-time Student Ministries Director, and it's such a privilege to be able to serve our community in this way. Mill City Students has grown rapidly over the last year, and we now have over 30 active students in our ministry. With that rapid growth, there's also a growing need for more intentional steps for students to take in order to find community. That's why this fall, our curriculum and our discipleship challenges will be focused on building and sustaining relationships of belonging. Well, I'm excited to announce a brand new ministry here at Mill City focused on young adults. And Steven Anderson's here, who is gonna be leading that ministry. Let me just say that I think it's really been something that God's been putting on our heart. We look back at the history of Elam Church and there's always been a passion for college students and young adults. And so God is leading us forward. In that same time, Stephen was being led by the Holy Spirit, I believe, and his team to join us in this time here this fall. And both myself and my wife, Brittany, as well as the two team members, Megan and Marn, are really excited not only to call Mill City our church home, but also to be a part of whatever God is doing in the lives of college students and young adults here. It's pretty fun because our youngest kids uh, from Mill City originally are becoming college students right now, so it's totally something that God's doing. I do want to mention the only reason this is possible right now is because these guys are support raising missionaries sent to love this age group. And there's people who are supporting them financially to be able to do that. And so we're so blessed to be the recipients of that. But if any of you just feel passionate about joining in, I'm sure a few more supporters would be super welcome. And so would you let us know? Because we are gracious recipients of these folks investing in young adults through Mill City. Pastor Don and I are giving the care update for our church. First stat is that with the adoption of Elam Church, Mill City Church now spans every living generation. That's six generations. My stat is to share that 95 people are on the intercessory prayer email list. Let us know if you'd like to be added to that list. Another stat is that over 70 meals were brought to families and individuals in need by the Meals and More team. Our first tension is that it's been hard to find a consistent and effective time for prayer. Will you we will consider other options, but we'd love to hear from you. Secondly, both Don and I are making care visits, but with the growth of our church, there is an increase of needs. Although we would love to, just the two of us aren't able to meet every need. So our celebration is that we are excited to start and expand a pastoral, pastoral care team. More information will come soon. We hope that you pray about joining this team to help care for our community. 
Another celebration is that in attendance on an average Sunday, we have at least three newborns and at least three 90-somethings. Well, that was a relatively short glimpse of all the things that God's been doing through our church and all the things that are made possible because of you and your participation and all the different ways that you join in. And so we're super thankful. I just want you to know I'm super proud of our church and all that we have been following the Holy Spirit through in this last season. And I'm so looking forward to what God's going to do as we head into the rest of 2023 and beyond. Oh, 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 oh,